We are living in exciting times and today I'd like to share with you on the topic of Trump and the Third Temple in Jerusalem. Now the Temple Mount movement in Israel is very excited over the recent election of Donald Trump. They know very well that the rebuilding of the Temple will require great effort, guts and determination. And they wonder whether this property developer turned president could take on the greatest ever rebuilding project to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. We as Christians know that the temple will be rebuilt at some point in the end times. Now many Christians, uh, Christian leaders, have uh, referred to Trump as a Cyrus. Many American Christian leaders have seen similarities to King Cyrus in the Bible. Now King Cyrus was a man who was chosen by God for a purpose. He was a king of Persia and he did not know the God of Israel. Yet he was appointed for a specific purpose and a specific reason. And Christian leaders such as Dr. Lance Wellnor has pointed out similarities to Trump and speculated and, and thought that Trump could fill this kind of role as standing for Christian values without necessarily being uh, the, the typical Christian candidate. It was after his time that an evil king arose named Antiochus the Fourth, who ruled over Syria, who came and desecrated the temple who uh, erected an idol in the temple of himself and instituted persecution across the land. And it was 150 years after his time that Jesus the Messiah came to the temple. Now, they're very quick to, to explain they don't believe that Trump is the Messiah, but they believe he could have a role to play in preparing the way for the Messiah. Now, what could better prepare the way of the Messiah than the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem? Michael Snyder uh, is a well-known uh, author who pointed out that Trump was born 700 days before Israel became a nation. He won the election on Prime Minister Netanyahu's seventh year, seventh month and seventh day in office. And Trump's first full day in the White House was at the age of 70 years, seven months and seven days old. Uh, upset victory divinely sent to begin messianic pro uh, process, say Israeli rabbis, <laughs> right? Another thing, thirdly, they talk about when he arrives, he is going to reinstitute the temple service. So what was the second thing they did? They called on Trump and Putin to use their power to rebuild the temple wow. and to reinstitute the temple service. I'm not saying that they think he is the Messiah. What I actually think is that most of the rabbis there think he's John the Baptist and the Messiah is about to appear. He's the huh. forerunner. He's the guy that's going to start the message in the wilderness and the Messiah wow. is going to come in on his heels. And so we need the temple service. We need to get back into Israel, the Messiah. The coming exciting thing that will happen in Jerusalem after all this war will be the what I call the rebuilding of the third temple. Mm. The first temple was destroyed by Babylon, which is Iraq. Mm. The second temple was destroyed by the Roman Empire. Two thousand years, wala pang mga temple ang hujo. And let's pray for protection. Let's pray for the salvation of Muslims and Jews. Let's pray for all of us to be ready for the coming of the Messiah.